Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. Hope you're well, Rachel here. So, what have I got all over my desk? Well, you may well ask. This is, well, it's a pile of scraps. It's some um, watercolour stamp pictures. It's some scrappy art, all sorts of things. So, what are we going to do with all of this today? Well, if you hang around, I'll tell you now. Okay, so now the chaos is a little bit more organised, I can kind of work with organised chaos, but mess, mess, no, no. So what are we going to do today? Well, first of all, I'm going to go through what materials I've got on my desk. And then if you want to pause and catch up, you can. Um, and then I'll show you what we're going to do. So um, this pile here, you're probably all going to know what this is. This is completely inspired by a brilliant video we had on collaboration yesterday from uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations and she basically sat and spent lovely lovely time with us showing us how to do um, oh, mixed media kind of collage papers with paints and just using different techniques and um, yeah brilliant so I'm only like just starting that video so all of my dabs and dobs and stripes are pretty much the same shape at the minute um, because I kind of went off piece then because I had an idea but um, oh my gosh brilliant and I just loved it I've had the best couple of hours this morning um, just sat with my music playing on my box whose name shall remain nameless or she'll speak to me um, and yeah it's been lovely so I got all this done these are all dry now and they're ready for me to work with what I also then went on and did was used some botanical stamps um, with some of the stays on um, ink and I then watercolored to color them in. So I've had a little play around as well with kind of different types of outline and what works and what doesn't. Well, I suppose nothing doesn't work. It's just what you prefer at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, had lots of fun with that. We're going to use those also. Uh, if you don't have watercolors, if you don't have botanical stamps, don't worry. You could just um, print off uh, some basic outline images and color them in with pencils. Or you could just print off some digitals of these shapes and, and use them as well. But you'll get the same effect with that. But I specifically wanted to try doing it this way. Um, I have put on a little process video. I haven't talked through it. Um, so if you do just want to go and have a little bit of mindfulness crafting, there's a bit of music and it shows you how I did this here. Um, that's also on the channel. I will link the link to that below. So they're the first two things that I've got. So the next pile I have here now are some textiles. So we've got some lace, we've got some crochet, we've got some very vintage lace, even more old lace. Um, we've got a bit of cheesecloth, we've got a bit of lovely botanical fabric and some more um, interesting and earthy kind of colour um, textiles. We've got some eyelash and that's a little bit of embroidery cut off the side of an old cloth. So that's that pile. Then here I've also got uh, some more vintage textiles. Um, this is actually a sample that I got from the internet, just a fabric sample. Um, this is some really nice thick, almost like upholstery cloth I had in a vintage fabric pack last year, or the year before. And these, um, I don't think I put it up yet, so it may go up after this video, but I have actually got a unboxing video to do for um, Taperology. Uh, and these amazing fabrics came in that box. So if you haven't yet checked that out, keep an eye out for it because it will be up this weekend. And there is a huge discount code for you. So if you do want to go and buy any from them, make sure you get our discount code. But that's where I've gotten these fabrics here from. So the one is like, well, they're kind of like hessians, but oh, this one is stunning. I love this. Can't wait to have a go with this this afternoon. Um, that one is very much like hessian, I suppose, almost like sack fabric. Um, and that one then definitely is like hessian. <laughs> And it smells like it too. <laughs> Although it's very faint because I can't smell very well still, but there's that earthy, sucky smell about it, which is lovely. Um, and finally, let me just move my ruler over here off camera. What you can actually see at the moment, I have got a huge pile of um, my botanical scraps. So I've got things like misprinted digis, stuff left over from kits. I've got book pages. I've got a lovely black and white some black and white images there i've got some packaging some more scraps from digitals some music paper some scrappy painted bits 
some brown paper, wallpaper, some more lovely scrappy painted bits, and oh, one of Rachel Roxy's. Um, that is embossing, and then I just use some distress inks then onto some papers, and yeah, it goes on from there, and again, just some more scrappy bits, a bit of coffee dyed braille. So this is just basically what's in my piles. So if you do want to kind of like grab your own pile of like my pile, please feel free to go ahead um, and then catch us back up where we are now. I'm just going to get myself organised and we will make a start. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to just break down these um, lovely images from my watercolour uh, painting this morning. So I simply um, took some stamps and uh, like I say, I used that stays on ink and um, then just obviously let them dry for a couple of minutes. But the great thing about the stays on ink is it doesn't run. Um, and I then simply um, just went and had some fun with some watercolours. So So I've broken down all of my um, <clears throat> little flower images into um, into the little piles. I've picked out the image images and now I will obviously decide how big or how small um, I want them to be depending on what I'm going to do with them. So what we're going to do with them, sorry did I mention the No, we're making clusters, we are making scrap clusters. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the um, textured papers, I'm going to take some of the fabric, I'm going to take some of the lace and I'm going to take one of these images then and kind of finish it up. So I'm just having a little play with this one here. So I've taken this piece here from this large section there. Um, I'm going to try and add a little bit of lace to that now. And I'm thinking, try and have all of the textures on show if we can and I will then be finishing these off with um, some stitching afterwards. Now what I can't decide on yet is whether or not to ink around my images. I suppose there's only going to be one way to find out whether it looks good or not and that's just to give it a try. If it doesn't work, well we'll just do another one. But if we don't know we don't try. Or rather if we don't try we won't know rather. Get it the right way around. I've been up early this morning going here. We were actually out quite late last night. We went to the cinema to watch the Viking film this out, which was a little unusual, but it was okay. Here we go. Oh, actually, no, I do think inked. Yes, definitely inked. Now, do I now ink this, though, is the question. Mm, I don't know. Let's perhaps just give it a little faint ink rather than too heavy an ink. And then we'll see. I don't know. I just find using scrappy bits and not inking a bit. Foreign. There we go. Now they, they pop out now, don't they? What do we think of that? Hmm? Shall I nip over and stitch it so you can get the full effect? And then you can see if you want to bother carry on watching. I'll be right back. So there we go. Now do you see what I was aiming for? Don't they look rather cute? Especially with that wiggly stitch around it. So that's what we're going to have a go at. Right, let's have, get into these now, shall we? And uh, I'll do all the rest of my stitching at the end. We'll try and work out how we're going to put these in place. I don't want to think about it too much, but just be good to have some, um, you know, different colours with different backgrounds. Maybe perhaps we'll have a bit of blue with a bit of red on top of it. Um, oh my gosh, I hope you've all been following on with the uh, collaboration this week. Haven't we had some amazing videos on for this for us to this week? They've just been absolutely brilliant. We had um, Kelly at the beginning of the week with her um, uh, oh, drying, rather, I couldn't think of the word then. She showed us how to fast dry, didn't she? Um, quick dry the uh, flowers and foliage for uh, you to use in your junk journals. So that's, oh, excuse me, tummy rumbling. That's my job this afternoon. I'm going to go out and get some... Uh, See what I can find in the garden because there's not much out there, but I do actually have a couple of daffs out the front, so I might go and rob one or two of those. And um, look, see, thinking then, couldn't talk and think at the same time. I might go and rob some of those and then dry a few and, and see what we can do with those because I really, really, really want to have a go at um, making my own papers because somebody did an amazing tutorial on that the week before last, and I have been watching it again this morning. I've watched so many videos this morning, it's been fab. Watch videos, got my music going, doing my painting, it's been lovely. 
and my food shopping delivery came, which meant I didn't have to go out and get it, all the better, because I forgot to do it last week. I don't know if you do your food shopping online, um, but I I do sometimes, and then a lot of the time I just forget to do it, and then it's like Saturday morning, I'm like, oh no, I've done the food shopping. And everybody's like, mum, there's no food in the house, which I'm sure never actually happens, but you know how dramatic they can be, especially boys, and they think you're trying to starve them. Um, but yeah, so thankfully I didn't have to go and do that this morning and I was able to just, please don't judge my painting. <laughs> just look at that. These are just meant to be paintbrush shapes, not actually meant to look like leaves. Well, you know, if the shape takes that form, then great. But if not, I'm not going to worry too much. Um, yeah, so what did we have after the foliage? Oh, yes, we had the flower press tag booklet. Did you see that? With Venus from Heart's Desire. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I've got to go and get some greaseproof paper after. I'm fairly certain Mum's got some up there. So look out, Bella. I will be up later to rob your stores and supplies as usual. Um, in fact, I'm not actually sure. She didn't give me half a roll the other day. I'll have to go and check. But that was absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, you know, when I um, put the collaboration together, when I came up with the idea last month and... Um, because this actually has been the, the best organised one that we've had, uh, just because I got it ready like a month ago. So everybody kind of knew that they were going to be involved. Everyone this, this time around actually was invited. I didn't actually put a call out. Um, they were all personally invited um, for different reasons. Um, but everybody knew over a month ago that they were going to be involved and obviously had lots of time to, to kind of think through their projects. I did ask them all what they were going to do. Uh, last month just so everybody can see that you know they're not all thinking of the same thing or whatever just to cut and try and kind of bring a bit of um variety to it for you um but yeah so it, it's been great to see um just the the complete diversity of all of the different uh projects and ideas um that have come from it so it's it's been amazing so just goes to show it it pays to be organized that's me, I mean, now they're always organised, it's me that's not very organised, I'm, I'm very last minute. Um, I'm one of these people that, uh, they laugh at me in work sometimes because I think they think I'm 100 mile an hour, but I get an idea and I have to do it straight away. I, I this, is, <laughs> this has been the hardest month and a half for me ever. The kit has been ready since last month, you know, this is how organised I was. Um, and I, I had to be organised because I was working with other artists who do plan their schedules very well and quite far in advance. Um, that's something that's never going to happen for me because it's just not the way I work. But when you want to work with other people that do work like that, you have to get on in, on their programme, don't you? Because, you know, they're giving up their time to help you out. So I had to be organised and it was great. It was, it was a real challenge for me, but, but we managed it. And um, But yeah, so it's, it's been really good, though, to just see um the, the breadth of which uh the ideas they've come out with uh, and like i say going back to venus's um her um tag um flower press tag booklet uh if you haven't seen it why haven't you seen it get over and watch it she, she's before me now look this week you, you should have watched it by now get on the playlist and go back and have a look uh, because it, it was just absolutely brilliant. That's that's. I want to have a go at that this afternoon, and then I want to do the dry flower thing, and then I'm going to make some. Um, I'm having a crafty day today. I was so good last week. I spent all of my bank holiday weekend sorting out the house, organising my craft room, sorting out the children's bedrooms, moving furniture. Oh my gosh, I went back to work on Tuesday for a rest. It was 100 miles an hour, but boy, did we work hard. But this weekend, I'm being a little bit selfish because everybody's out um, and I'm just going to have some crafty time because I think I've earned it. Um, and I've got a lot of catching up to do with you girls. So, yeah, um, definitely want to try that today. So what else did we have? Let me just scroll down my list here because I can't keep them all in my head. Oh, yes. Then we had Rebecca with her tips on what to do with book pages. A video we always need more of because let's be honest how many book pages do we have well here we are see i've got them here in my hand we have loads don't we to use up so um again always a welcome um is that too much red i don't know that it is i think that's okay behind there and then after that we then had the fabulous shona from fraps and scraps who um again is always a delight to have her uh working with us um 
and she did another amazing she she is like the queen of collage now you know i think she's kind of um secured that role uh, that title for herself because um when we do our collaborations um she has done uh historically and this time a collage video and oh my gosh she never disappoints ever it was amazing and she just makes it so you know you really got to think outside the box um I, I i think we can get a bit stuck in our way sometimes with collaging can't we we can you know you, you find your kind of style and then tend to stick to it but every time i watch one of her videos that she does collaging with i come away with something new and a different idea and even if it's not the way she's done it whilst i'm watching her i think to myself oh my gosh i hadn't thought that i could do it like this or do it like that so that's another good thing about watching other artists is it does just encourage you to think differently about the way you do things so yeah it was great to um to have some more tips from showing i really enjoyed that so again if you haven't seen them go and catch up then we had the lovely Rose from Heart Finds, uh, Rose Vining, and she brought us a video on creating bookmarks for your journal. Now, just to clarify, no, you're not mistaken, there were two videos on day 22. That was completely purposeful because we've got a nice long weekend now to catch up on them. Um, and as I didn't actually know what um, Rachel from Rocks Creations was going to do yesterday. Um, I didn't know what her, her video uh, subject was going to be. So, um, I mean, she's been super, super busy, hasn't she, this month? Because obviously she's been back home. She's been uh, visiting with family. Oh, just so wonderful to, to see that she's been able to do that. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of waiting with excitement to see um, what was going to come from that. But in the morning, thankfully, we didn't have to wait too long because when I got up, Rose bless her heart, who's actually that way from me on the timeline. So I was expecting hers to be late. Um, she was on first thing and it was great because she did a uh, bookmark, showed us how to create beautiful bookmarks for our botanical journals. So again, if you haven't yet seen that, go and take a look. I'm nagging this morning, I know I am, but these girls have worked so hard, so, so hard. And I did say to them all yesterday, um, that they needed to be loud and proud about their work this weekend and get some pictures up and share them on their social medias because, um, you know, the one difficult thing about a long event like a collaboration like that we put on is the month can be long and I know people get busy and I know people are on holidays and things like that now, but um, for those that went first, it's great. But for those that go later in the month, um, and then just to add, they did all choose their own points where they wanted to be you know I, I haven't chosen where they wanted to put videos up for the most part they've said oh you know can I be this part of the month or that part of the month so, so a lot of them is down to choice but um I don't expect you lot to lose wind on them and to you know not persevere so please 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 persevere with the girls keep going keep watching um and, and they've all got something very different to bring so um please just remember there are uh, we're in our last week we're in our last week oh my gosh i want to cry we're in our last week it's gone so quickly i know where april's gone i can't believe it's only may um but yeah please please continue to just support all of the um the artists all of the channels and go and watch all of their videos um i know in the past we've done um giveaways um that have uh oh i'm so sorry my tummy's rumbling that have been based on um you commenting on the videos in order to enter the giveaway well i haven't done that this time my giveaway is based on whether or not you donate to uh the site Cymru, uh fundraiser which the link is down below if you haven't yet seen that so if you do want to win the journal that i'm making all of this lovely stuff for um that's what you need to do to enter but in the past when we've done these kind of giveaways it's encouraged you all obviously to go and watch and like and leave a comment on each video well I haven't done that this time, but I would like to think you would still do that for them. Because obviously, if you leave um, a like and a comment, it I've told you all about the algorithms before. This is nothing new. It's not new information. Um, it just really helps their, their search and their, um, their videos get traction and they get shared more then. And then other people get to see them and, and enjoy what they're bringing them. So please, please, please don't give up um go and you know drop in say hi watch their videos and if you're making things along with them please share your videos and use the hashtag because i can't stress enough how um just how much hard work they all put in to these collaborations for you um 
you know, it's low organising, but it's also a lot of thinking outside the box from these girls because, you know, we're, we're constantly demanding new content from them, aren't we? Because we're constantly expecting them to come up with the goods and to come up with something different and original and something that hasn't already been shown to us this week. Because <laughs> let's be honest, there are now so many fantastic um, artists now on YouTube um, that it's, it still never ceases to amaze me how you don't see the same 10 things being shown in a day. Um, but yeah, they all managed to come up with original and engaging content. So please, please, please make sure you support them, okay? Um, it's, it's, it is, it's it's a lot of time. Uh, it's, it's quite funny, actually, because um, Mum's, you know, Bella started her channel now, um, Bella's Crafty Studio. So again, just to reiterate, we haven't, we haven't had a row. We haven't separated ways. We're just we're expanding um, because I can't get her videos from her and she is desperate to share what she's doing. And it was just getting a bit frustrating for her, waiting for me to be able to get up there and get them. So I'm like, okay, yeah, get them up. So she's literally doing it all herself now. She's doing all her videos herself. She's doing all her uploading herself. It's been brilliant. So um, again, please go over and support Bella's channel as well and give her a subscribe and a like because of course her video for the collaboration has gone up on our joint channel, but um, you know, her new channel won't have benefited from the view. So she's done lots of uh, extra videos this week. She's made a fantastic botanical journal. Have you seen her Edith Holden journal? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I did call up there, actually surprised her one evening this week after work and um, my boys and I popped up and I had a look, little chance to have a flip through of her journal. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So, so lovely and so unique. The, the cover that she's done, something quite different. So she has got a flip through up. It is on in our Etsy shop. It is actually on sale. We've got a sale on in our shop at the minute. I keep forgetting to mention that to you all, sorry. People say, why didn't you tell us? I, I just forget. I talk so much, I know. A lady commented on my video yesterday that she was struggling to hear. I'm so sorry. She said between my accent and the speed at which I talk, um, she was struggling to understand. I don't think there are captions. I don't know. I don't know how to put captions onto videos. Um, I certainly don't generate captions. I, I don't have time to type, type up a transcript, but if they are automated, I hope they get it right. Um, but I am sorry, I know I do talk quite quickly sometimes. I can't help it, it's because I'm excited. It's just nice to have some crafting time. It's nice to not be heading a computer this morning because uh, I'm obviously working on the computer all week when I'm not doing events and work. And then um, I come home and very often then we've got, you know, uploads and there's that to do and sharing stuff and stuff for the Facebook page. And um, we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of new stuff coming up in our Facebook group. I don't know if I've mentioned our Facebook group at all in this uh, collaboration. Ooh, what colour do they want me on there? Yellow, I'm thinking. Oh no, let's have some of this. Look, I've got embossed paper here, music paper. Vintage music paper, in fact. Uh, but I've embossed it and then I've just given it a... Oh, you might tell me, I'm so sorry. I've gone over it with a... Um, just cleaning my, clean my brush on it. It's rather nice, that little blue hue, as you like to say. Let's see how that looks. Um, yeah, no, but we've got a Facebook group. The Facebook group is currently called Junk Journal Trading Post with Rachel and Bella Crafts. And um, we've, uh, we're have we making some big changes to the group at the moment. So it's all in development stages at the minute, but you will all know more by next week. So keep your eyes peeled, don't miss it. We've also had a post up, a poll up in fact, on the Facebook group for the last, week or two, I think, um, asking for your input on what you want to do with the group, what sort of things you want to see, what events you want us to do, um, you know, do you want to see more freebies, all that kind of thing. So please go and uh, leave your thoughts and opinions because they are of huge value to us. We do, uh, we do value your opinion. Obviously, it's your group at the end of the day. It's not our group. It's there for you guys. So um, please let us know what you'd like to do. Um, and yeah, vote on the poll. Oh, shall we use that one there? Sorry, I'm probably talking a load of nonsense this morning because I'm trying to, I don't know what these clusters are gonna look like. I hope they look better up there than they do down here. But I'm just trying to get them done as quick as possible whilst gacking away. 
I remember doing a collage video once. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think actually, I don't know if it was to open the, one of the first collaboration. I can't quite remember what it was for. It may have been, it may have been to open the first collaboration. I can't think now, the Christmas one. But I know I was, um, I was trying to collage, just, just literally a master board. Um, whilst talking about something and I think it, I spent the whole video on one sheet of paper because I was talking and I couldn't talk and um, concentrate that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> at the same time Ooh, now this is also from I gotta show you this minute. where are you box ah. here we go just there sewing it everywhere if I haven't yet put up my unboxing of the stuff from Taper, Taperology, Taperology, that's what you say, isn't it? Yeah, from Taperology, you have to check out this stuff. Yeah, Taperology, there you go. So if you haven't heard of them, go and have a look at our video. But they sent me this stuff. Look at this. Isn't it lush? Now that is like real hessian kind of wrapping. So that's where I've gotten this from, just in case anybody's wondering. Again, we do have a discount code for you. So, um... If you do want to get some of that from them, make sure you go and check out the discount code that's in our video because I'd like to see you benefit from that. Um, but yeah, so it's been quite an exciting month. I've had quite a few things sent through to review for you all. Um, I do try to limit them because we're not here to, you know, be selling stuff all the time one thing or another. But um, like I say, I do like you to know where we get our things from and for you to be informed. And if these shops are going to offer a discount to you, then all the better. So for your inconvenience of having to listen to me showing you some stuff, you do get a discount if you want to buy anything. So I suppose there is that. Right, I think, I think these are all done. We have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, I'm going to sew. I shall be straight back. So we've stitched around all of our clusters now. They're all pretty much done. And I just want to add on some, um, some little uh, words from our kit. I'm just going to get some glue on these now. And we will pop them into place. Hopefully without too much drama. There we go. is behaving at the moment. Not always the easiest task. There we go. So I just took some of the um, the words from the kit and I've just put a little running stitch through them onto some um, cheesecloth. I think it's cheesecloth. Um, just to give it that little rusticky feel. I actually cut these out yesterday using my Cricut first time, but unfortunately forgot to collaborate the um, the um, cut-in thing first, and they all came off a little askew. So I had to let them run and take all the bits of white white off. Should I look a little bit nice one in there. There's enough going on at the top, isn't there? It's better. And that one. There. Um, but yeah, it was nice not to have to sit and cut out all the way around a huge. Well, actually, what I did as well, I did them half size and I um, managed to get two pages on one page. So I then had to double the amount of words then, which is always a bonus. Save some paper. 
like it. Oh, I'm loving these. Yep, these are fab. Oh, there's the sun. That's the only thing sitting in front of the window. Oh, my word, thanks for that. Oh, excuse me, actually, should I blind? rather bright. Right, there we go. Here we are. So let's just double check now that everything's as it should be. Got my pin back in there. Um, I did get some other bits and pieces out from the kit because I wasn't quite sure how much to put on but I think that's enough. I'm really quite pleased with them so let me just bring you guys down a tad. There we go nice and close you can see so there we are so we've got our fabric underlay we've got our um paper that we did our bit of painting splodging on collage texture papers then we've got um some lace or some hessian or some fabric just to kind of you know give it a trim and then we've added one of our lovely watercolor painting flower stamp things to the top and then just a little wood with a stitched bit of cheesecloth to finish i'm really happy with those so i'm going to leave it there for you today um if you haven't yet seen today's collaboration video go check it out it's layla from L lydia sorry from raindrop layla 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 sorry i'm gonna get that wrong then um but she's making a mini journal so go and check out what she's doing because it looks very exciting. I have been watching it this morning. Um, so go and have a look at that. And of course, if you haven't seen the others, go and check them out. Um, the playlist link will be in the description box down below. Um, and don't forget to share the images of what you're doing. So don't forget to share your, your, your mix in our Facebook group. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll be back with you very soon. Take care now. Bye.